Jesus Live is Live. from Okarasa city, but uh, he has a lot more to do and a lot more to say to our audience of uh, Sakha Brand. Uh, he is Mr. Hadi and uh, he is the CEO of Hadi Consultancy and specialist in professional and personal grooming. Let's welcome him. Welcome, please. Thank you very much, Brahms, uh, for the invitation, and thank you very much to the part of Brand uh, for calling me over here. Uh, so, uh, as you know, nowadays uh, uh, the situation in our world is very troubling, sure. and uh, we we wish you all uh, very very much uh, prayers for in this critical situation of the virus. Uh, and everyone is fighting with that. Uh, so, sir, what would you like to say about today's uh, thing happening around the world? Uh, yeah, it's really a very sad situation. Uh, you know, uh, the attack of coronavirus, uh, you know, whatever they see behind that. Uh, but we need to be very careful and we need to follow the guidelines uh, which has been given by, uh, by the health ministry and, and the health professionals. Uh, we must follow those guidelines. Uh, don't take it light. It's really a very crucial virus that uh, that infecting people uh, so rapidly uh, over its social attraction and whatever the guidelines the experts have been saying. And we also wish you very best of health and uh, wish uh, wish you a lot of prayer uh, that God may save you from this uh, this big disease. Uh, hope so, and be, be careful, please. And uh, the caution and the precautions are very important at this time. And spread the awareness, especially in those areas where a lot of numbering are coming, uh, that the patients are coming day by day and they are growing very fast. Uh, so, uh, now please, uh, we would like to come on the topic of the day. Uh, sir, how would you like to introduce yourself to our audience? Well, um, my name is Muhammad Usman Hadi, and uh, I'm a founder and CEO of Hadi Consultancy Firm. And Hadi Foundation. Uh, I have done MPhil in business administration. I have around uh, five years experience in abroad in Gulf UAE, and I also served in different uh, positions at different positions. As I have worked in Gotham as a head of institute. Nowadays, I'm working uh, with the health department of the government of Pakistan. And besides that, uh, I am truly passionate about uh, making difference and creating difference in the life of the. Uh, of the general public and the life of people. Uh, as you told us that you are uh, perfecting the uh, training and consultancy thing. Mm -hmm. So how can you elaborate those things and how that is profitable and uh, fruitful for the startups of the world? Well, uh, <clears throat> you know, from from very start, uh, uh, when, when the uh, human uh, brought into exist in this world, uh, they always look into into grooming. Uh, we have started when we have no cloth, and now we have uh, you know billions of industry uh, just for cloth. So change is only the permanent reality in this world. So uh, when you come to this consultancy business, I think that there are very few people uh, who came into this business. Uh, instead of consultancy business, I would like to uh, give up big name to it, it's basically a business of knowledge industry. Uh, you know, that uh, we we study and we just get focused on the syllabus book and we, we don't put focus on the knowledge. The things are same, the things are around us, uh, but those who could really focus to get more and more knowledge, they become the part of the knowledge and consultancy industry. And uh, what about profit? I, I think that when you are in the knowledge industry, it doesn't matter. I will. Uh, I, I just want, like to mention one person. He is working as a data entry operator, but he has good. Uh, uh, he has grip on the research area, and he is earning ten times more than from this knowledge, uh, which from his job. So, profit doesn't matter for for, for this industry. <laughs> it's huge. You cannot think about it. That's great, sir. Uh, as you know, whenever you started from a small city, especially you, you belong to Akwara and, yes. and that's a great honor for Akwara and, and all the persons uh, who, who have to know that the person from Akwara is on the brand platform. Uh, so, 
uh, what kind of difficulties you face when you started your all these things, and now, mashallah, you are, you you are doing a great job and you inspiring a lot of persons and you creating a big impact in your society. So, what kind of difficulties you face, and uh, how can you say that uh, how the persons who are uh, who are looking at you right now uh, and how they can become hardy? Uh, this this is really a very interesting question. Well, um, I, I would like to share a little bit about background. Uh, when I was uh, completed my master degree, master in commerce uh, with a specialization of finance from the University of uh, uh, Lahore, I was a gold medalist from the university. And uh, uh, at very first, I got an international opportunity uh, of Lahore. I was a gold medalist from the university. And uh, uh, at very first, I got an international opportunity to work in Dubai, uh, it's uh, it's a huge vehicle uh, business. They are operating from Japan to all over the world, and uh, they are selling huge vehicles to all over the world. So I have I've been ha uh, hired by them as an assistant uh, accountant. So <clears throat> while working over there, um, day by day I, I start uh, uh, I got promotions, and uh, when I I was at a position. Uh, when I was earning, my earning was so good, and uh, I have lots of facilities over there. Uh, my career is, you know, um, getting its peak, <clears throat> and I have to hire a few people for my organization. So uh, I discussed with my boss, and he said that uh, uh, you you give an uh, walk-in interview. I just give an advertisement for the walk-in interview and uh, it was become a big disaster for us. The building is full of people and even the management of the building issue of the letter. <laughs> and we, when, when I started, I talked to my manager and I asked him that uh, I, I, I want to keep the CVs of these all people and then I will interview them one by one. And I realized over there that most of the candidates were coming from Pakistan. Uh, they are not good. They are not good in communication skills. They are not good in uh, interview skills. They are not good in how to manage their personality, how to manage how how, how to listen, and they are they are lacking in uh, even at some basic moral ethics. Mm -hmm. So that gives me an intention that no doubt I am earning very good over there, but what I am doing for my country. So at that moment, it was, uh, you know, uh, 2013 and, and at that moment, I have took the decision that I should go back to my country and I should work in this area. At that time, Professor Tanvir was also came over there. We, we got a lot of meeting over there. And uh, things when, when I get into the things, when I ask my company that uh, I want to resign from my job, they are not willing to leave. Although my performance was not that good, <laughs> I'm not claiming that. Uh, but you know, uh, when you work with honesty and with hard work, uh, people don't want to leave you. So it took me one year, and my boss showed me the true picture of Pakistan. There are no jobs over there. Commerce industry is declining uh, over here, and uh, uh, my I want to come into the education industry and my specialization in commerce industry and business industry. So the education with this respect is uh, have a lot of decline in this time period. So he showed me the true picture, what will be your future in Pakistan, you will be having no earning. But I was sick that I have to go to bed, I have to go back. And on the same ha hand, I was thinking also that this, 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 I am earning over here and I again have to start from zero. And at that moment, I have realized first time in my life that the biggest fear of the human is not the failure. The biggest fear of the human is to leave what you are already getting and again start from the zero. And it took me one year to take that decision. <laughs> and, and finally, I took that decision, came back to my country. And when I have started applying in the colleges that I want to work on in the education sector from the baseline from there, I can educate to the people and I can educate <coughs> to the students in a better way. So when they come into the market, they must have some practical knowledge, practical things. But when I started applying <laughs> from from every single college, even I asked one of the <laughs> college that I want to teach free of cost, and he said, no, we don't have the opportunity. <laughs> so, but I was taken to that, that 
I have the opportunities in other fields as well, but I stick to myself that I just work in the education industry, and uh, I will work in the same field, uh, uh, which, which, and I am not ready to compromise on my vision. It took me one year. I have started my own academy. That was also a biggest failure for me. Uh, <laughs> nobody was willing to come into the academy uh, because uh, uh, the commerce uh, education was uh, uh, not considered good education at that moment. Uh, one year, I I cannot explain that what I have bear. Uh, I just have only uh, you know uh, uh, my monthly earning from. Uh, hundred thousand to two thousand to three thousand. Uh, it was very hardly for me just to manage my uh, you know day to day expenses uh, or my petrol and uh, my um, food ball expenses <laughs> was even not I was uh, able to bear. Uh, but the one thing I I realized from this whole time period that if you committed to your vision, the final you will get. You don't have to give up. You you just stick to what you are doing. And then the time came, the one of the leading uh, institution of Pakistan, uh, they called me and they are uh, they interviewed me and they have hired me as a head of institute. So uh, that was the moment that I was feel so blessed that now this is the time to prove my skills and prove my. Uh, my knowledge, my abilities, and I worked with that institution three to four years, and I have uh, I, uh, during this time period uh, minimum a uh, hundred plus students we uh, you know uh, give them employment out of country in abroad, not in Pakistan. There are list of hundreds of hundred students who get a job in Pakistan after completing their courses from that institution. Uh, but the passion, the commitment, the guideline, uh, the grooming uh, we we give to the students, uh, they they are more than welcome for from the other nationality uh, in that field for for Pakistani students. So uh, and then I start working on some other areas. I start uh, my own consultancy firm, and now work is going on. Amazing, well. amazing <laughs> story, and uh, I can understand that. Uh, when you, you have to start and you leave the job and then you have to start your own company. So that is the biggest decision, the final decision that we will do and we, we are from have done it. So, uh, so what kind of message you would like to say uh, that, that can give the, the new startups the power mm -hmm. and as you, as you did yourself that you, you just keep going, you, you don't give up. Yes. And, and your message is so much great that don't give up, please. Keep doing, keep doing, and one day you will be excited, and the world will know you. Okay. So, what message you would like to give? Well, um, I would like to share uh, basically two messages. The one is that never give up. Don't compromise on your vision. Compromise on your strategy. You, when you get your vision, and you started working on it, if one idea fails, work on another idea. If that will work on another idea. If that will work on another idea. There is no option to compromise on your vision. So the, this is the most biggest mistake that startups do. They they started with full of energy, passion, commitment. But once they fail, <coughs> they thought that their vision is fair. Actually, your vision is not fair. Your strategy might be wrong. So keep compromising your strategy until or unless you get your desired vision. So don't compromise on your vision. And the second thing is, don't go for profitable ventures. Go for what you want to do from your heart. Because if you have the will to do, and you have the skill to do, and you have the determination to keep doing it without considering that how much failure you have, and you have belief in yourself, finally the day will come that you will get there whatever. Amazing. Thank Amazing. you very much. It's a really great message and hope that you will get some fruit and benefit from this. Big message and hope that you will get some fruit and benefit from this Sahabi staff of the day. Uh, thank you, Sahabi staff. Thank you. It's really great honor for us and great honor for Sakhar Brian to 